What is up my Wizard101 friends and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be me doing a 2v2 on my death. I'm sorry, but right now there's something going on with my camera and my store management. I'm not even sure. I literally did um, my recording and my reaction. I did it during the match, I did it after the match, and both times I didn't save. So I'm just going to have to do a voice recording for today's. Hopefully by next week, that will all be fixed and my storage and management, whatever, will be, you know, uh, taken care of. But today I'm extremely excited because, like I said, I'm doing a 2v2 on my death, something I rarely even do. I'm not on my death very often. But today, I was very fortunate enough to find a match. And on top of that, I am with another death. So I am just super excited and uber excited um, for this match. Um, so we have an ice and a storm. Um, that's Nicholas. He is another death. The only thing is we're a little bit different levels. Like Nicholas and uh, Brad, Brady sorry, um, are a little bit higher than me and the other storm. So this will be interesting. Um, one thing I do have to say since I already did this match is this guy freaking blades like crazy. It's kind of like obnoxious, but don't worry. We, we got it. We got it. Um, so I am just going to poison, get the crit. That's right. Um, I'm really happy right now because I changed, uh, I changed gear. Uh, I'm doing a little experimenting on my death. Um, so it should be pretty interesting. Right now I have a little bit higher crit and a little bit higher power uh, pip percentage. Which I'm super excited about because this is the highest my power pips have ever been. Um, so hopefully they don't fail. And of course this guy puts up another set shield. The other thing I... Well, I mean, I understand it's PvP, so you know who your opponents are. But the fact that some people just, like, purposely, like, set for you is... Oh, it's so annoying. I didn't change my deck at all. This is my original deck. I saw that... I saw that there was a storm in there, but I didn't even bother to change it. Like, I don't know. Oh, wow, I can't type. Um, I don't know. It To me, it just seems like a hassle to, like, constantly, like, change your deck every single match to the other person. Especially... Uh, that's the one thing I like about ranked, is, like, I don't change my deck, like, I keep it consistent. Um, so it typically works out for me in the end. Though I do have to say, because this is a 2v2, and I don't typically do 2v2s on my death, I kind of just threw whatever in and hope for the best. <laughs> um, but so far it's going well, so I really can't complain. Another, another, uh, shield. Okay, from the storm. So, we are going to poison again. If he wants to keep shielding, I'm just going to keep spamming poison. You know? You do you, I'll do me. I guess. That came out harsher than I wanted it to come out. Like, you know. It, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh. Hit another crit. I I must say I'm I'm liking this gear setup right now. The only thing I have to say is my accuracy is so bad. I'm just afraid I I can fizz at any moment like anything. It's not even just death. Like I can fizzle anything at any moment. And I'll show you later uh my setup and what I have. So yeah, ugh. it's that's probably the downfall of this uh gear setup that I have right now. Uh Okay. That, the only thing, I was like, I'm not sure if he's going to lure. I'm not sure if he's going to sirens. And he shields. Okay. Alright, so let's weakness. Yeah. He put up another blade. Good. He can be the hitter. I have no problem with him being the hitter. You know, if I need to hit, I will hit, but, like, I'm literally trying to be, like, more support right now. Um, get rid of that. We don't need that. Uh, 
Get rid of that, I guess. Yeah. That's good. That's good for right now. I think I could possibly need all these in the future. Or whatever. Whatever round. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to hit. Okay. I don't think it's gonna do that much, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, nah. No, it's not gonna do anything. A weakness, shields, plus I have an aura. Like, it's, it's not. It's not gonna be doing that much. Cool. Yeah, just like just keep getting rid of the shields. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Like I'm saying oh wow because I'm happy that it didn't do as much as I thought it would do. I, I kid you not. I thought that was going to like... I thought that was going to be the end. <laughs> when he hit that crit, I was like, oh no. I was like, I might be soloing by accident. And that I do not want to do. But he has an open shot, and I'm glad he took it. So, I'm pretty sure this is GG for the storm. Yeah, three blades and a crit, and he's wide open. Like, he has to be. Yeah. Oh, he has a life mastery on. Actually, both of them do. Huh. Okay. I don't typically, I feel like I don't typically see, uh, storms with life masteries on. Maybe because, like, I don't commonly fight at lower levels. I'm not sure. Comment down below. Is that common for, like, storms to have life masteries? Because, like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Alright. So, yeah, we're gonna in infection. Because we don't want him healing. He doesn't have, a ma I mean, an amulet, so... I don't think that healing will be a problem, but, like, you honestly never know. He has enough pips to do anything. He could Seder if you want. He can Sprite. You know. So let's just do that for safety precautions. Oh, so that's why he had... You know, I actually like that spell... The, the life spell, I think, like, it'd pair well with balance, since they're nerfing everything on balance. <laughs> I do have that spell on one of my wizards. Which one, I don't remember. I'd have to check, but, like, it's not that big of a deal right now. Um, so... We can just faint. Like, honestly. Why not? <laughs> he's, he's, he's wide open. Oh, thank you, Nate. Uh, glad to see his pet's doing something. <sighs> I say that because mine has, uh, mine has fairy too. Just, just hasn't healed. Just hasn't healed. That's, that's also, I guess that can attribute to what I said before in my previous video about my pets not going off at all. Uh, don't need that. And I don't think I'll need that anymore. Maybe might keep that. That seems good. But yeah. Like I said in my previous video is none of my pets go off. And I don't mean like on one wizard. I mean like all of them. Nothing like ever happens. And it's the worst. Especially for my balance. Because I have Maycast and Feeble. And my god. Oh man. When I say it never goes off anymore. It never goes off anymore. It's so frustrating. Um, but he's going to headless. Uh, with a feint. With a blade. With a crit, uh, this would probably be GG. Oh, no, no, yeah, oh, wow. Okay. I'm on it, no, I'm really honestly surprised. I expected that to do more. He might, he might have, like, real good, uh, resist, but, oh, Avenging Fossil. I love Avenging Fossil. Look, I have the pips to do it, so I might do it. I must say, for at least for death, I do like that this is 7 pips. I don't think Avenging Fossil needs to be 10 pips. 
I think that's a bit uh, excessive. Especially for the amount of damage it does, especially over time. I'm not talking about the initial hit. I'm talking about the damage over time. It's really not that big. And I'm not just talking about my pet. I'm talking about, like, in general, the spell. It's not that big. Uh, so I really do think that they should lower Avenging Fossil. It, do it doesn't need to be 10 pips. It really doesn't. Um, but, man, I really wanted to use my pet to hit, but I'm, I'm fairly sure that this is GG for uh, this game. Nice. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I really wanted to use my pet, but oh well. Uh, GG, guys. Uh, good game. I'm not kidding. When they first started uh, blading like up on the storm, I was like, oh man, we are in a world of trouble. We don't need this elemental and blade. Like, we... I am so surprised that he did like, all I had was one weakness on his, like, a minus 25 compared to a 35 and a 30. Like, I would have just hit with, like, I would have just hit. I would have just done Lord, or if I were him, I would have done Siren. Sirens probably would have done us in a lot more. Um, yeah, sorry. But, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, that was the video. Uh, hang on one second. I'll show you my stats in a minute. Okay, so here are my stats. Um, so what I'm working with right now is 98 damage, 15 resist, 56 jewel on the bottom. And here's my accuracy, which I said was complete garbage. It is total garbage. This level, it is so hard to get good accuracy. Oh my goodness. But one thing I do have to say is... I never know for resistance at this level whether I should go up or down. I do like that the jewels are like kind of like a safety net for me. But I at this level I'd preferably like to have a little bit more crit than I would resist. Like for me crit is more important, especially at this level, because damage isn't very high. Um so forty one percent crit. That's pretty good. I'd like to get a little bit higher. Um Then we got like eight yeah, eight percent block which and yeah, you know what are you gonna do with that uh and 10 percent and i do like i said i do have fairy so it would be nice if i could get that a little bit higher so if it does go off you know it could save me a little bit more but the kicker the kicker that i love the most about this deck is this 82 percent power pip bonus i mean power pip <laughs> uh power pips because it used to be like 75 to 79 percent was the highest I could get it but once I started switching um gear I was able to get it that high and uh this is the this is the gear that I'm rocking right now um because I'll just show you that but like I said this, the the shadow I mean oh my gosh not the shadow pips the power pips are so important at this level like you could literally since i i remember so many times where i've like needed a head with and i'll just get a fail pip and i'm like oh no 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 um this amulet i changed these amulets i originally had this one and now i have this one with the double jewels and i like this resist double jewel so much better and it comes with choke and um smoke screen so quite honestly i am glad that i'm using this one I just got it on a random drop, and I was actually going to sell it, but I'm super glad I'm not, because like I said, it is such a good safety net, because this level has such low resist, unless you're like another, like, unless you're like ice or something, um, but typically I'd go with the duelist, but I was weighing my pros and cons, and for the duelist, you only get 2%, uh, percent pierce, and I'm like, you know what, at this level, like, there's, it's literally not worth it to like have this on so I decided instead I was going to give myself more uh power pips and um, so compared to the 11 to the four, the 14 that's three additional and honestly it it like you wouldn't think the three would make that much of a difference but it really does uh and it gives me a little bit more health so you never know okay all right and then lastly is my pet, and this is my power pet. Uh, I love this pet. It is damage, 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 and then you do have um, fairy, which never triggers, 
but it's there. It's just there. <laughs> I wish it would, but like I said, with all my pets on all my wizards, none of them seem to trigger as much. So that's just whatever with the happiness. I am looking to make a more defensive pet rather than offensive, the one I have now, which I'd be using that pet. And, uh, yeah. That's kind of, like, what I got. That's what I'm working on, at least for my death right now, because I do have my other wizards. I kind of go back and forth on which ones I work with. Um, but that's the thing right now, is getting the pet. And, uh, then I have my deck, which I didn't even realize was a set bonus, but, like, hey, I'll take it. And on top of that, it gives another jewel, which I love. It is just, like, helping me, like, stack so much resist. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's what I have today. I am super excited that I got in on that 2v2. And with another death, when I saw that, I was like, yo, I gotta get in that. I don't even care how long I have to wait. Um, but, yeah, I did, th I did this. After waiting like 30 minutes to get into a 1v1, I'm like, I'm not even waiting anymore. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And on that note, guys, I'm out. See ya.